Okay, in this video we're going to have a look at drawing the front view, top view, and left view of this. A square-based pyramid. Okay, we're doing it in first angle orthographic projection. So that means that our top view will go over here, our front view goes directly above it, and the left view goes next to it on the right hand side over here. And because we're drawing the three views of a pyramid, we can clearly see here that we're going to be able to see the base in our top view. And of course we'll be able to see the top point over there, of course, which is called the apex of our pyramid, or the middle point. Okay, the top point. And just note here that that top point is always perfectly in line with the center of our base shape. If we, are, if we have a regular pyramid, which we do. So we are going to start off here in our top view by going and finding that center point and drawing dark lines across through that center point to of course represent the edges of these sides which go up to our apex over there so to do that we're simply going to go and join the opposite corners of our square and where those opposite corners come together that of course is going to be the center point or the apex of our pyramid and now we're going to make sure we label our top view and in labeling our top view we're just going to label each of the base corners first that being one two three and four and then we're going to use an A to label the top point okay and of course that A is our top point over there and then we've labeled each of the four different corners as well that we can see in our top view. Now to get to our front view of course we're going to do the usual setup for our first angle orthographic drawing and for that we need XY lines but to start off with we're going to measure a 10 millimeter gap over here okay from the edge of our top view to 10 millimeters up and from that point we're then going to draw a dark line across, horizontal dark line across, that is our XY line and then we are going to go and do a 10 millimeter gap from the edge of our top view over here to the right, okay we're going to measure 10 millimeters to the side there, make another mark and there we're going to project another XY line, our vertical one on the side there 10 millimeters away okay and then we're also going to draw in our 45 degree line which we're going to use our 45 degree set square for and if that of course comes down the bottom over here on the right hand side we're going to use that later to find our left view okay now that we've set all that up we can now go and draw our front view for that we're going to take each of the corners of our top view and we're going to project them up into our front view those are all light construction lines and then we are going to again go and measure 10 millimeters away from our XY line up we're going to measure 10 millimeters away there so 10 millimeter gap there and then draw our baseline of our pyramid and now we know that the baseline of our pyramid can be a dark line because we know that that baseline is going to be a straight line at the bottom of our pyramid for our front view so we can draw that in you can see here clearly now we've got our 10 millimeter gaps over there with our XY line in between now the next thing we need of course is the height of our pyramid now the height of our pyramid that we need is what we call the perpendicular height of the pyramid and that is always measured from here from the center point of our baseline straight up Okay, and it's from the center point of the baseline to the top or to the apex, okay, the A point of our pyramid. And it's called perpendicular height because it's a height which forms a 90 degree angle over here with our base. So we're going to measure straight up over there from our baseline. On that center line, I'm going to make the height of this pyramid 80 millimeters up top over there. I'm going to mark that off and I'm going to label it as point A okay. and then I'm going to go and transfer all of my labeling over here into my front view I know that that of course is going to be point 3 there's point 3 projected up there I know that that of course is going to be point 1 over there and then 
because we're seeing our front view from this direction, we know that we're going to hit into point 4 first and then 2. We're going to see point 4, then point 2. And if we follow that up, we know that that's going to be that point there. So we can label that point over there as 4, 2. We label the 4 first and then the 2 because in our front view we can see the 4 first and then the 2 behind it. Now, we know that with our pyramid, each of the corners all go up to our A point over there, to our apex. So we are going to go and take each of our corners now and we're going to join them to the apex of our pyramid. So we're going to take point A there and we are going to draw that down to corner number three. We're also going to join A down to corner number four and two, which are in the same place. And then we're going to join it down to corner number one. Okay, that now completes the front view of our pyramid. Now to get our left view, we are going to go and we're going to project each of the corners and the apex in our top view across onto our 45 degree line over here. We're going to project each of those across onto the 45 degree line. We use construction lines for that, nice light lines. And then we're going to project straight up from where those light lines hit into our 45 degree line. We call that the intersection point. We're going to go and we're going to project those points up into where we would want our left view. Okay, there we go. And then, of course, we need to project each of the corners from our front view straight across, like that. Okay, now, from our labeling, we can see, of course, that there's point A. If we follow point A across over there, and then we follow point A from our top view across onto our 45 degree line, and then up, and where those two meet over there, we know that that is, of course, going to be point A. A in our left view. We could do the same thing for point 2 over here across and up. If we follow point 2 across from there we can see that that will of course be point 2 and then the same thing for point 4. That over there is going to be point 4. And now for 1 and 3 we're looking from the left hand side over here. Okay, our left view from there so we're going to hit into point 1 and then 3 behind it. So as we follow this across and up that point there we're going to label as point 1, comma 3. And that's because in our left view, looking from left to right, we're going to have 1 and 3 behind it over there. So that is all labeled. And now, same as what we did with our front view, we're again going to join point A to each of our corners. And we'll start by joining point A to corner 4. Then point A to corner 1 and corner 3. And then point A to corner 2. And then the last thing, of course, that we need to do is darken our baseline. And there we have all three views of our square-based pyramid.